Hello guys, Son of Beast here. Welcome to Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. As right now, this next matchup is about to be a win or go home for Tampa Bay Bolts. If they don't win, and if the other team wins, the Bruins, they will be moving on to the Conference Finals for the first time in the NHL EA Sports history of the season. At this moment, there might be another way, but they can answer it back. Andre Vasilevsky might have another chance to do it. Or they might be, they could be heading over to try to like take him out with the run and then go with another attack. Other players may be turning out well, but we'll find out who will take the next win in order to make a win or head on to game five. Now standing by for the commentary I will have is me phone along with Silver Spoon and Fan is the center ice for tonight's game. All right, folks, I know it's time for you to get on, to get into the arena. Let's bring it on to me, phone, and skin crew. Guys, all yours. Enjoy the first double header game of game number four. It's game four at Molly Arena. Hey, hello, everyone. Me, phone, along with Silver Spoon and Fan. This is NHL on EA Sports of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Teams are ready to take on with the face-off puck drop, and we're ready to go. Courtesy lineups are being here as follows. We have his Bergeron. Then on the other hand, we have his Brad Marchand. Right from the other side of it, we got is the number cross of the angle, Braden Point. And it's Nikita Kucherov. Towards it for the center, scores! That's Marchand with the first goal in the shocking run in game four. I guess that Brad Marchand got that one in there. First goal in the game comes in for Boston Bruins. They have a 1 0 lead on the start of game four. We have on the other side, we have this Orlov. Then across from here, we have we have on the other side, it's Bogashaw. They brush right into the corner of the wall. Then the other side, on the other player, we have across here the takeover on the other way. The fourth game of the day, Orlov. Then it's Olmark. He's a starting tonight for game four. Marchand moves it across to Bergeron. Bergeron shot blocked by Bogashan. Bergeron stuff up in the corner. Gives it to Bogashan. Then it's headman right towards the center. On the fast break for the Bolts. Moving towards the wing. Past the point. Stopped by Olmark with a chop save. And will hold the puck with 18.06 remaining. Now that's nobody really wants to give that one a good run. The credit is, they were really saying that the Bolts have been the better team. They all say that they already made all the way down to the Conference Finals, to the Stanley Cup Finals, for the Tampa Bay Bolts. They made it three times in a row. But now, this season has already been over, and they have been gone right away, leaving the mark in the dust. Here's Crutchy right over it again. The pass is broken up. Hegel fires it around the net. Passes to McAvoy right toward the corner. Moving along over it again is Orlov in the corner. He looks quickly over to Pasternak. Pasternak right towards the wing. Trying to move it again, and it's stopped by Bogashan. Here's the fast break for the Bolts. Pass to Samko shot. Save me by Omar. Kreji again to Zacha. Zacha make a stop. Here's Samko right towards the wing. Try to look for an open pass to Sorelli. Pass to Hagel, backhand shot, and the puck escapes the zone after a huge save. And Vesilevsky is the starting goaltender for the Bolts. I know Vesilevsky has already been showing it up like he did. They're saying that it was all that clear. But before and after of Andre Vesilevsky, he really likes to be on here with the Bolts all night. Every season he does, he just keeps it right away for a good timing effort. Here on the other side, it's Colton. Colton lost the puck here, and now we'll swing it over again to Coyle. Boston Bruins are on the Bolts territory run. For the Charlier arc, that stopped the save here by Andre Vesilevsky. Moves it to Paterzi. Here's Colton. Moving across into the neutral faceoff zone. And Paterzi takes the puck away. On the fast break. Coyle take, Cole takes it over. Now Colton over again. On a fast one. Looks to Jeanette. Try. Stop made by, by 
Omar, and Omar put it stuck right in the pressure, up to the buck, and right through the wall. The other way keeping the shooting right out of here. He really got to find someone else out there. Got to fuck it on the goal, you know, on the defender, and now you're all over on the boards in the corner. Shot saved by Omar. He will hold it and take a rest here with just only 13, 36 to go. We haven't made it made, made to the midway mark of a period. This score now is still Bruins 1 0. Bergeron wins the face off, finds Clifton. Clifton trying to move it right toward with the kick in the puck. Killorn takes the puck away. Good job around him. That's saved off by Omar. Omar already getting that strong out there. Didn't want to get that one offense right right out of the set. They really are starting to go over quickly, and they never really found out that they were going to get there at the same time. I'm wondering if they are going to like try to like go with the flow because they are really sure enough to get there as they can. Clifton towards the corner. Now he has it recovered over again to DeBrus. DeBrus finds Marchand. Marchand on the fast break one. Veselevsky saved. He'll hold it with 12, 12 remaining. And at this point, it is still a 1 0 lead for Boston. Here we have this admin as fans stands by. Hedman is mostly maintaining his run here on the defender. He calls him to make that one a defensive play by sticking the puck up. And sticking up is the most important way to make that defensive player work. When he makes that one a good uh, offense run, he tries, to, he tries to make a stick lift. He puts it right over and tries to take away a defender and put the puck right back towards him. They got a lot of it to set these up here for the score and try to like defend it. Saved me by Veselevsky. 11.27 remaining in the first period. Still no score for the Bolts. The other side of Andre Veselevsky. veselevsky has got a great crowd controlness as he puts up a wild and easy puck on save. Let me say that this one is a tough one to go for. And let me hear you take the puck with the save. We'll be watching it. We'll have to keep an eye on that one to go with this lucky save to put it inbound. Orlov towards the corner. Back to Hathaway. Passes over to McAvoy. Moves over to Nozick. Now in a neutral offense zone, finding Greer in the middle. He passes to Hathaway. Hathaway right towards in the middle. Takes a shot. That goes off and then goes right toward the glass and now back to Headman. Here's Bobichon. He will give it over to Maroon. Maroon to Melamar. Melamar in the corner and now pass to Maroon. Shot. Well, saved by Omar. He's putting up a great pressure out there with the one time goal. Releaseman was going fast. But they should never be out there, like, for one reason. They're trying to, like, just keep the play inbounding. Yeah, sure they do. And Paul wins the face off. That goes with the bad save. Not this time! Cohen and a defensive mistake for Omar. I guess that puck was right in it. And there it was. There's the goal for the Bolts. They just say that the puck was moving across and it hit the pad and deflected right in the net. That went rolling past by and he just couldn't believe it what he was going to do. And why did I not get a time? Well, that's a bad luck for them. They just gotta like keep that one puck to cover this up. And the legs are wide open. That's the problem. Bolts and Bruins are tied for the game, passing the midway mark of a period. Coyle will win the face off. Orlov swing it over to McAvoy. Passes to Berturzi. Berturzi right towards in the middle. Looking for an open room. Save me by Veselevsky. Ball back again to Hedman. Hedman trying to swing a pass to Jeanette. Now the bolts are on the fast break on the attacking run. Shot stopped by Omar. Now he will hold the puck here with only under nine minutes remaining in the first. With the ultimate of the call, Linus Allmark. He has an X-ray vision to make that one a one toppable run. The last time I'm in game two, it was to be 72 saves in a row. That's the biggest saves that he has ever accomplished for a part of the game two in the playoffs since back then for double overtime and with a win. There goes the helmet. It goes out and flying all over it. Yeah, I guess that, that that's going to have to settle down for him. He's going to have to be on the bench. Omar will grab a puck save with the catch. And now we'll pick up a new line change. 
On the other hand, right now, it's Nikita Kucherov. He makes it snappy. The last time it was happened to be here in game number six with the slap shot goal and made the overtime winning over against the Maple Leafs. His last part of a, a career successful mate, he was ultimately uh, making a contribution to have his own goal. He really wants that, but he has to get it through. Scores! Victor Hedman with 21 goals. They now have the lead up by one. I guess the play is, but there is the answer. I may have to know that the boats are on their way to game four to try to make a win. Point shot stopped by Oakmark. Orlov passes to Bergeron. Bergeron right towards the corner. Give a good run inside. It's Veseleski stop. 7.24 remaining in the first period. As right now, they're about to get the face off ready. With the other side of the Brad Marchand, he makes it snappy. It's one of his goals to try to put in a snappy shot mook to make that one aggressive. Other team on this ever angle can make that one snappy too, but sometimes they get blocked. It's all what happens now for Brad Marchand. I'll be watching and keeping eye on each player of the Brad Marchand, Nikita Kucherov, Braden Point, Hector Victor Hedman, Van Venus Olmark, and Andre Veselevsky, every player in between. That'll be a tough one to make the range out of it. Back to you. Sorelli gets punched back. Sergeyev going right over it, and Marchand says, That's enough. I am not able to take over at this point. You're never going to try to stop me down. Yeah, a lot of aggression out there. Try to keep him out. Mizalevsky will hold the puck in with only 6 11 to remaining in the first period. Nearing closer to the end of the first period, the Bolts have a 2 to 1 lead over Boston, looking for a win to try to stay alive. Career moving in. Oh, Veseleski made that one a good sell. And if you're all tuning in for the new episode of Inanimate Insanity, last time it was July 2022 before the, before the meetup of the BFDI and Inanimate Insanity. But next month will be happening here for on June before Son of Beast turns 21. That's right, I guess that might be a great thing that we always go for. Not a celebration for him, buddy. That's for you, the beast. Stamkos, save me by Omar. Stamkos rolls again to Furbix. Now over to Paul. Shot! It's lost the glove and recovers off by Hathaway. Five minutes remaining in the first period of the game. It's still a 2 1 game. Furbix recovers it. Goes banging over, and they're going to get the fight. And here they go, they are about to start now. Oh, you never want to get that one. You always can't get to stop and blaming on anybody. Because if you, you will have to pay it up to revenge it. That's Pell called payback. And the fight's down. Bruin takes a defensive play and the Bolts leave it off with a slap run. These two guys are very that tough. You can tell that by then in between of Tyler Paterzi and Kucherov, they were not really that nice. All they were saying now is because it wasn't what the attacker was going for. That's for calling for a revenge out there and try to stop them and get rid of him. That will be a tough one on the carry. Here's Lindholm right towards the middle. And Sergachev takes the puck away with the poke check. Jeanette over into the corner. Trying to look for another man offense run, but it's Lindholm kicking the puck back to Carlo. Carlo right towards the corner. Behind the net. Coil shot! And it's saved up by Vasilevsky. Off the defender. Jeanette passes to Sergeyev. Now he moves over to Bellamar. Bellamar in the corner now on the one-on-one -on -one offense. Lindholm back to Coil. The Bruins are now entering the Bolts attack zone. Looking from corner to corner, Frederick taking a shot. It's blocked off by Jeanette. Frederick trying to recover the puck, but it's recovered it away. Cernax gives it over to Jeanette. 
240 remaining in the first. Gets banged up in the visitor's bench. Frederick right over again to Kregi. Kregi trying to look over with an offense run. To stop the trout. And that one goes with the headman block shot. Back to Cernax. Rolls to Killorn. Killorn moving it over again to Kucherov on an open man. Left alone. Goes right down. Fire shot. That's off for the defender. And it goes right toward the glass near the net. Well, they're all saying that now because defenders are getting very good at this. They really wanted to try to break it up. Boston Bruins recovering deep. This is the puck in his own. McAvoy back to Zatcha. Back to Kregi. Shot in the corner. Saved made by Veselevsky. Down to the last minute remaining in the first period. And Point grabs it to Killor. Killor passes to Kucherov. All right, towards the wing. Pass to Point. Move around in that. Hit off the stick by Olmark, and it goes right back to Marchand to McAvoy. They're all keeping it in good touch right now. McAvoy and the team are just trying to, like, keep it out. The Brust, it's stopped by Hedman. They go on a two-on-one -on -one opportunity. Shot stopped by Omar. McAvoy over again to the offense corner, over to Kregi. And we'll have to leave it here. So that ends the first period. A 2-1 score. What a great work here for the first period of the Bolts. We'll get a quick break and we'll come back after this. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Welcome back to NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports as we're about to get started for the second period. As we're about to drop the clock, here we have another group changeup. Here's how well they did with the first period as Silver Spoon has a, has a summary recap on their team. They really are starting to go out of the shape, but they really are starting to like push them off. All they did was, there was a loud bunch of that. The starting goal was Brad Marchand, but then however it was Nick Paul that really got in the away with it. They really are trying to like make him set in the score. They're all over this now. They really wanted to try to like keep him out of here at the right timing. They really have nowhere else to be. But in this case, it does happen to be Victor Hedman that has that goal. And now they have that lead up by one. They are a very tough team to be in the Atlantic Coast of the Finals before heading in to the Eastern Conference Finals. There might be one way that could make a win at all. McAvoy lost the puck and now Killorn will take it over. The Bolts entering the Bruins territory. Take the puck away. Saving rebound by Alina Solmar. McAvoy recouping it over to Pashinax. He goes from right to center. Rolls a tumble down. Stamkos in the middle. Trying to make a heat easy on the fast break. And Carlo gives it over to Pashinax. Moving along, running out outer wing. Bogashai gives the pass over to Hedman. Edmund working his way on his run. In the middle, Kretschy taking the puck away. Zacha with the stop. Zarelli takes the puck steal. Moving around in the middle, he lost the puck at that time. Zarelli passed to Hegel. Hegel can't get it to go. It's now Coyle right towards the right. Banks down. Zurichem over right to the corner on the other side. Zacha says, not your point. Veselovsky holding with the save, now back to Zurichem. These guys are very tough and brutally and been painful run. Someone's going to get hurt if they're going to try to like smash them out of here. We definitely do not want that. Now here's Frederick. In the right side of the slot. Glove saved by Veselevsky. Holds the whistle out for 15-27 remaining. And like I just said here before, the new episode of the Inanime Insanity Invitational happening next month here on June, right in the day, before the end of the year comes in for the part of the 2022, 2023 of the new episode releasements of the Inanime Insanity. And then we will follow along, kicking back for the next year, as right now for the start of 2023, the 24 final episodes of season three. But at this moment, the new episode will be releasing here number 14, 
so keep your eyes peeled and stay tuned for the exit interview. Carlo will have the puck over to Frederick. And pass broken up. Pass to Coyle. To Cole. Lindholm takes the puck over right around Cole. Frederick right towards the right left wing. Now Cole will give it off to Perry. And a delayed penalty called on that. And that will be a smoking slash call. They're not excellent out there. They are just going to say you've got to stop slashing. And Garnet Hathaway's in the penalty box. They're about to get the power play started for the Bolts. With the tough two in relacement, Andre Veselevsky has a control in his right towards the way. He will have to find out if he can get another wild save of the run. And for Linus Allmark, for this one, keeps it right out of it. And Veselevsky was putting up a great one. But for X-ray vision here, for Linus Allmark keeps it out here right towards from the side. These two are powerful ones here. I'll be watching the next goal and for the power play. Back to you. Coyle has already made a steal, and I will fire it out. Now, leaving the puck alive, we have Nezalevsky give it over to Samkos. Now it's a puck, and it's offside by Boston. Still lots of time left in this frame of the period. Bolts still have a 2 to 1 lead over Boston. Tampa Bay back on it now, as right now Victor Kreppman will take it over. Now he has it over again. Killorn in the middle. Try to pass the point. Move around the slot. It's went right up and over the net to the wall. And Kucherov giving it over with the rebound back to Killorn. Another penalty call. And now it's a 5-on-3 attack. The slashing's been whistled. Uh-oh, Brandon Carl. Not good. He's already in the penalty box, and he's waiting to come out. Now the fans are going wild. It's a 5-on-3 attack for the Tampa Bay Bolts. On 5 to get a power play before they have a man open and back on ice. Harry Glove save! Back to get him to Forbert. We'll keep it out of the zone. Agle recovering the puck over again to Perry. Perry passed again to Sergachev. And now Paul lost that one with the slap shot. Lena Solmark taking the save. Forward takes it out. Now the man advantage of the 5 on 3 is over. Now one skater's on. And the power play still continues. They're keeping it out of here. They never really want to get right around it because they really are trying to like keep it over it. They don't want to like leave it out alone because defensive breakdown can be a lot of hard and brutal. We haven't made the midway mark of this period. We still have a 2-1 lead for the Tampa Bay Bolts. Now the Boston Bruins will have their own end. They will try to fire it out. Just about 45 seconds and Veselevsky gives it back to Sergeyev. Now ready for more. Colton. Right in the slot. Goes right through the backhand. That's a wrist shot save here by Linus Omar. The Bolts regroup it. Stopping the run and bounding. Hagel recovers it over to Perry. He looks like he's coming out of the box right now. Ready to go. Perry. In the middle. Colton. Rebound scores. That's Nick Paul. 12 goals in this game. The career puts it up. A beating power play. Now that's what they call it from here because Nick Paul really got that good run. They try to keep the power play coming. They're always noticing the inbounding of Nick Paul was lifting it right up around it. When the save comes in from, from the Omar, he had that puck right around the goaltender and then put it in the net. That's what the team does. They're trying to keep it up and then go right over it to keep it alive. They are not quitting here, and they want to go over it again. They are trying to sell things score run right on the attackers. Now it's Omar with the save, and now it will be a 5.47 remaining. One power play goal for the Bolts, and no power play goals for the Bruins. Now they're up to a faceoff with only 9.47 remaining. 
Now with the face-off win, Bird of Boston gives it past the Pasternak's knocks over again to Zacha. Right towards the right wing. Shot in a slot. Scores. And they're coming back down by one. And his second assistant is coming right toward in the slot. You never mm. notice when it goes to David Krejci because when he has that right toward it in there with the hat trick move, he gives up one off to a sling of the snipe again. Goes with a deflection right off of it in no time. It may be a difficult range, but don't keep your eyes off of David Krejci. He's always that good. He's trying to make that one clear. Battling for the loose puck. Point. Now here's Krejci. Lost the puck and Killorn takes it over. And Krejci trying to take it over. Go for two goals. Pass it off. Save me by Veselevsky on the side. Point reaching over again to Cernax. Regrouping the puck is Kucherov. Pulling in the middle. Now it's a save by Alina Omar. McAvoy up in the corner. Pasternak racing over into the other side, finding McAvoy in the slot. Outside of it. Now back into the Bruins to Bolts territory. Look at this play. It's a bolt clash. Killorn over again. The Cernax. Trying to move the inbounding by Killorn. Killorn past the point. Blocked the shot. Rebound. And he scores. That's 29 goals for Braden Point. They get an extension now for 4 and 2. You always know that Braden Point almost had 30 goals in this game. That's a hype. All you say now is when Braden Point has it in there right around the back, he really got a good luck making a move. But Nikita, but, uh, Nikita Kucherov says, that was my move. How could you ever do that? A save made by Andrei Vesilevsky. Bolts up by two. Now looking in the slot, pull in. Try to go with the backhand. It's stopped by Carlo. Here's another attack by Bergeron. 6.30 to go. March and Stop save. Vasilevsky holding a puck here with only 6.27 remaining in the second period. Bruins wins the face up. Carlo releases off. Edmund, try to battle along the right across the wall on the board. Bogishan gives it over to Colton. Colton right into the Bruins territory with a good zone entry. And Jeanette shot. That was keeped out. Nozick gives it over to DeBrus. Here's another attacking, and Hedman will try to keep it out. Pass to Stamkos and right off the wall. Stamkos shot and had saved by Omar. Lindholm right over again. Nozick trying to take the puck away from it with only five minutes remaining. Here's Hathaway. Shot and stopped by Andre Vasilevsky. Greer up with it now. Pass to Nozick. It's off the goaltender. They're always keeping going with a uh, lot of shots in between. They can't lose it up again. They really got to slow it down. Forward. Right over into the uh, uh, onside circle. Right over with the slot. Good pass save by Vesilevsky. Samkos right in the middle. Now they're moving back in. Samkos with a shot. It's blocked. Samkos retries it. Pass save. Double time stop. There you go back again. Dubogashan over to Samkos. Shot. It's off the chest. And Omar will try to pull the puck here now to get ready for another face-off. We're near closer to the end of the second period. Tampa Bay is one of the biggest teams in the, in the league. A 4-2 lead. Oh, wow! That's a strikeout. Not with the Bolts anymore because now it is Brewers. Well, they really are trying to, like, sell it down. They can't be saying that the Roy is coming for you. Bear, bear to Brewers. And he went down right toward the corner of the wall. McAvoy. On the attack now. Around again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi on a cross move, but it's Cernax with the rebound after a save by the goaltender. 
Bruins have their puck right along the edge. McAvoy again to Coyle. Here's Coyle on the attack. Blocked a shot again by Stamkos. Cernax, I should admit. My apologies. He gets clipped out. Point back to Killor. Can't find an open man advantage. The Brooks right in the middle and now taking over with the shot and saved by Vesilevsky with the glove. We're under 90 seconds in the second period. It's still 4-2 lead. Now we are ready to do another face-off. As also as being rebound, if you have tickets for the BFDI and MN Sanity, we're sorry to say that everything's sold out. Because now, the time, and it's over to get your tickets here. If you can't make it, the live stream's happening here on June 25th and July 8th at the same day. Every, every moment. Here from every of our standard standard times, here from the Pacific Standard Time that's happening here every every moment. Flinnable back again to DeBrusque. Now here's Carlo. Back to the Bergeron. Bergeron has Carlo saved by Vesilevsky. Just about 12.1 seconds remaining in the second period. Vesilevsky is on and ready to do it again. Well, he's never going to leave here because if he leaves, they're always going to keep forgetting it. Here's Clifton with the win, and forward shot went wide off the wall. Behind the net, Janet, and we'll end it here. So that ends this second period. What a great score for another releasement for Braden Point. He has 4-2. We'll be right back with the third period after this. Hello everyone, just a quick reminder for an announcement. As we have right now, the new episode of The Deals is happening here on May 25th, but I am not sure if I will be able to do this one to make this finishing of the editing as long as I could because every clips are very that long, but I'm not sure how it will end that way because I have a lot of it to do it right at this moment to try to keep my grades up at the same time. But, if it doesn't go really well, and if, it's, if it weren't hardly enough, then the new show of the episode will be released here on May 31st to have it postponed for delaying after this part of the Stanley Cup playoffs and the NBA playoffs also as well. So as of me right now, if you want to stick around here later, just do what you can do and make sure to easily follow me on my social medias on Instagram and TikTok. TikTok Discord will be releasing very soon after the deals is finished. We will have more social media to keep your eyes with. And make sure to leave a comment down below if you want to see your next opponent for the NHL 24 and it's casting here right now. That's right. Don't forget to leave a comment down here below if you want to see the next matchup of the teams battling each other for the next one in Season 3. It will be really exciting to enjoy yourself. And as I'm being said right now, don't forget that we only have a lot of a lot of time right now, but at this moment, the final four will be happening here on the deals. And at that moment, keep your eyes on peel for the episode of the deals. It'll be out there soon, so there will be no votes here. But at this moment, that the votes that you have made are only two. So there's only two competitors that will be taking over for the final spot in the finale of the deals. So thank you for us, just for everyone who's been voting it here. Now it's time to get back into the game for the last period. Me phone guys, it's all yours. I'll see you later for the post game show of three star players of the game and total, total statistics of game four. And we are set. Are you ready for the third period? Let's get going. And right now, we're about to drop the puck, and as you can tell, the team of the Bolts has been happy enough. Wow, that goal went in for Kucherov! My, oh my! The quick releasement here for Nikita Kucherov was sending it right in it. He just started it right away. He was right over it, and then right on the fender, and he had that one in. That was an epic. 
that most teams never really see that one going to try to make the goal count. Because of the first period, they were saying that, that oh yeah, that was my goal to take over it. Now it's nobody else is taking it from the outside of the range. But for the third period, for the beginning, that was Kucherov that made that one a good look of the easy score. That is what they did. What a play for Kucherov. I'll be watching here to keep an eye on him. Back to you guys. Hit Bruss scores! Now back turning the other way, down by two, he has 26 goals. In game four, coming over to be a tight on battle range. With the lead, and now back down by two. It's easy to say that the Bruss was really at trying to like pull him around the deck out there. They're swinging towards back. Bogashan wins the face off. Now with the stick lift, here's another one again. Zacha recovers the puck. Going with the backhand, saved off by Veselovsky. Killorn has the puck here right into the neutral zone to the offense zone. Recovers it after a goes down. Omar, oh, that went very badly and almost went to be a penalty on Boston. But they still left it clean. It's clean now. He didn't really trip over that time. It's a clean hit. Clean defenseman run. Here's Bogushan. Back again to Kucherov. Over to Bogushan. Try to keep it out of the range of the defender. Back to Hedman. Over to Sorelli. Back to Kucherov. The Lightnings are firing the puck right around the net. Orlov battling for the chain of a loose puck. The Bruins will have their own zone. Now going into their zone. The Marchand shot. And Veselevsky made that with a pad save. Victor Hedman back to Hegel. Hegel with enough move and didn't have enough clearing space in between the two. Torelli went down. Lindholm right towards the right towards the left. He fires it across around the ball. Hedman bumps it from here. Try to leave it out. Frederick has one. Pass to Bergeron, flip it over, saved by Veselevsky. Already been showing up like that. They just can never deny for Veselevsky to try to leave it off the mark. Omar's going to hold it right here with only 15.30 to go in the third. Zacha really been slipping already. But he made that one a little ease off to try to keep him out. Looks like he might be okay. And hopefully by then, the next game will be happening again. Right now, the face-off is on, as right now we have a 15-30 mark for the third of the fourth game. Borrow went down. Knows it. Kicked the puck right over again to Lindholm. Lindholm over again to Greer. 15 minutes remaining in the third. Greer trying to move around it. Good stop at the puck and a poke save. Carlo in the middle. Goes right toward the wall and now Colton will try to recover it. Back to Veselevsky to Sergachev. Now to Colton. Colton rolling again to Sergachev. Now he finds Paul. Paul right towards the wing. Pass to Jeanette. Shot rebounding. It's blocked by Lindholm. Now Cohen, it's gloved and saved by Omar. We're under 14 to go in the third, and now the faceoff's ready. Unfortunately, Zacha may not be able to make this one, but at the finishing run of game four, he's out for tonight. Thanks for the update there, Silver Spoon. Boston on a regaining attacking moment right to Hathaway. He will try to leave it up in the wing. Pass the nose that shot, gloved it up at a gobbled and puck. For Veselevsky. Now both teams are ready to take the face off. So at this moment, if you're watching it on live stream, make sure you join us here for the live stream of the experience of the BFDI and NMA Insanity. That will be happening right here on June 25th and July 8th at Sabi Media Center and Gerald W. Lynch Theater. So at that moment, they will keep you eyes for the moment and you will be here at the show. If you have tickets, I hope you enjoy your show and wish you to keep your family and, and yourself safe on your way to the show. Circuit chat to Bellamar. Very right towards the middle. 
And it's bad pass broken up here. Bergeron's trying to keep it over rebounding. That goes off in the flucket. Sergeyev to Cernax. Passes to Maru. 12 to 10 to remaining in the third period. He goes to Bellamar, and that bad save won't let him stop to make the goal. Clifton trying to ballot the puck free. Forward to Merchant. Now he gives it over to DeBrusque. In the slot zone, padded up and a save by the goaltender. Cernax trying to recover in the puck out of the ball to make a loose puck play. Marchand and Cernax gives it over with the puck back to Abel. Boston's got it across right into their zone. Now they will move up into their attacking zone. Returzy shot. Lost a slap shot and it goes back to Cernax like I admit. You notice that whenever you have a player was going right over it, they just lose the puck right away. They never really want to get back right into their offense zone. They just can't get over it. The winding up of their, their move, their attacking run, really got painful. But they really never got a slap shot, and they are just trying to lose it out of here with the side of the call. Offsides called on Boston with 9.49 remaining. Now they're ready to take the face off in an neutral zone. Bolts have a 5 and 3 victory and still in lead. Look close getting to a victory win. But now here's Killor. He will have to move it around again. And that's stopped again by Omar. Toward the backside, Edmund to Kucherov. To Killor! That pass saved it again. They're not really trying to like shoot him around it. They have to find a different way to try to deflect it and then put a goal in the net. Tampa Bay has the puck inbounding. Point gives it over again to Hedman. Hedman tried to leave it over with the open gap to Kucherov. Kucherov tried to fight for it. And a shot saved here by the pad. Halfway lost the puck. Rebounding it is Paul. Ball went down a little too soon. Now rolls it around over to Killor. Back again. And Hathaway gives it over. He's all alone on a fast break. I'm in rush. Stop by Veselevsky. Two in a row. Wow, he is on fire. That really got him a good run. I say Veselevsky, you're quick as a hard bustle inbound. Nozick has the puck in taken away. With 7.15 to go. Veselevsky gives it over to Hedman. And a delay penalty called on the Boston. They get a slash. And now a power plays on for the, boss, for the Bolts. And it's Nozick in a penalty box. Yeah, they always say, too many slashing moves. They are not happy at all. The Bolts are now on the power play. With only 7 of 6 remaining in the third period. Now with the win, here's Lindholm. Lindholm get a little bangled up here. Here's Lindholm back to Paul. There's a shot. It's blocked by McAvoy. McAvoy gives it to Frederick. Looking for a run. Back to Lindholm. Lindholm and Sergeyev takes it over. And it's Stipe again. Frederick shot. Went wide. Bergeron goes down. Colton tries to give it up. Perry right over in the neutral zone. Bolts are on a fast break. To make the drought. And Omar will hold it with a save with just only six or nine to go. Five and three is where we left off. Now they're ready to do another face-off attack. It's still a 5-3 lead for Bolts of Tampa. Coyle wins the face off. And it's Sergeyev taken away. And Colton trying to stagle it back. Sergeyev to Hegel. Hegel will be in front of it and up and back out of here. Olaf's got the puck and bounding. Keeps it to Coyle. Coyle trying to move around again with the a double man offense run. That shot goes too wide. Mojan! Richie got the short-handed goal, and Veselevsky will try to hold the puck with 5.23 remaining. He almost would have got that goal if there would have been a close call, 
If you would have known, you would have blamed it. Bergeron wins the faceoff. Now here's Point on the run. Looks like he's almost ready to get out of the penalty box. Point to Kucherov. Saved me by Omar. They're trying to keep him out of here. They've really done really well on the offense run, but sometimes in the defender, they wanted to get the short-handed goals. It's very good to keep it out of the puck here for their zone, and they are really doing it really well. Well done for their team. Back to Petruzzi. Over again to Nozick. Nozick moving around him. Glove saved by Veselovsky with 4.19 to go. Just about coming down to the wire, and we're getting another faceoff coming up. Now they're ready to do another faceoff in the offensive wing. Coming up later tonight will be the Kraken and the Kings back at Climate Pledge Arena. This will be a win or go home for the LA Kings. They're not really well played enough out there, but they're always starting to lose out their strategy. Their offense is not hyped up for anybody. They're already doing that again because they were just trying to like leave them out. If they don't have the responses, then Kings are done. They will never try to make pain it if they're going to keep right over it to do it again all over it. Here's Point with the winning faceoff. No puck here with an open man. Coyle kicks the puck over or right around the goaltender. And Frederick giving it over again to Carla. Passes to Paterzi. Paterzi over again to Coyle. Coyle on the move. Gets it slammed down. Headman again to Galore. 3 3 and now it's three minutes remaining in the third period. Going home back to Paterzi. Berturzi on the move, trying to take a shot. It's blocked up by Pogoshev. Victor Gretman recovering again to Hagel. Hagel right towards the right to the left of the wing. Put in the slot. Sorelli saved by Omar. He was going to have to hold the puck here with only 2.17 in the third. Coming down to the end of the fourth game. Bergeron wins the faceoff. Pass to Lindholm. Over again to Bergeron. Now they're in the boat's territory. Marchand shot. Club to save. What a stop by Veselovsky. They're already showing him up. That club, crowd, crowd loud and proud. We are coming down to the mid period, final minute in period, but we're under two minutes remaining in the third. Kurji wins the faceoff. Blocked it up. Pasternox right towards the wing. Here's Kurji over again to Pasternox. Now with the puck taken away, here's Sorelli. Sorelli passes to Bogushan. Now gives the deep over to Stamkos. Stamkos looking it over. Firing a shot slot. Omar takes a save with a minute and eight to go. We are coming down to the end of the final period in the third. Now it's still five and three. About to look for the odd for the second man offender. And now kill Warren over again. Oh, Omar almost lost it. That almost went clearly out of here. But not for long. He did just like that. They are pulling a goaltender out of here. And now point. Kill Warren will fire it away. Went wide. March in. And pass went in a zone. No offside call. Pass to Bergeron. The march had shot. Benzelewski saved it again. With only 32.2 seconds, it's 5 and 3. Boston wins the faceoff. Orlov shot. That gets denied, but he scores. Card Hathaway getting a close inbounding. They try to get a close game in five and four. They don't want to go home. They really do not want to be eliminated. Right now, it's down to a one-point lead for the Tampa Bay. With under 30 seconds, they're trying to answer back. Nozick wins the faceoff and Orlov over again to McAvoy. Bringing an extra man on. Hathaway. 
20 seconds left. Orla past the McAvoy slope. And it's stepped and goes over with the traffic jamming. There you go, trying to keep it out. And the puck clears out. McAvoy and the team, nobody around it. No set. And that will do it. The Bolts win the fourth game in the postseason of the second round. You all know that Andre Vizileski really gives it all. He makes that one a great win. And now they want to stop going with the advancement and push their way to game five. Well, I guess that's been that settling down right now. We also do fans. We have appreciation to be with you. And that will end the game here. It has been a fantastic night for the first doubleheader. Five and four is your final score. Thanks for tuning us here. Me phone along with Silver Spoon and, and Fan. Thank you for joining with us in the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. See you all next time. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And now we're about to bring the three star players of the game. The third star, we are starting off with Nikita Kucherov, a goal and assist in 3 hits. When they say it's snappy, they have it right across the round, around the goaltender, right from the slight. Now with the second star, it's Braden Point with a goal, two assists and two hits. Got a great shuffle breaking over it, moving around it, and made that goal. And your first star player, we all salute to you, Victor Hedman. 11 hits, two assists and the goal. That took it away with a big kiss hit of the night. Here's how I did with the total statistics. With 40, 43 and 51 total shots on goal for Boston and Tampa Bay. 21 and 31 for Tampa and Boston. 511 and 556 in the timeout attack. 91 percentage and 87 percentage. 87 for Boston. 29 face up points for Boston and 18 for Tampa. 5 minute penalty kill for Tampa with the fighting and Boston with 11 minutes for the penalty kill. Only one power play goal with 5.18 on the power play minute. So that wraps it up for the 4th game of the Bolts and Bru Bruins, but we're not done yet. For as tonight coming up we have is Kraken and the Kings. Back at Climate Pledge Arena. Kings are looking their way to try to stop the bounding if they wanted to keep it alive and get a goal before it's too late and the Kraken will be moving on to the next round of the conference finals. Well, we'll just have to wait from here. Thanks for tuning in with us and have a great night in Tampa Bay. See you all later for the second header, second game of the doubleheader. Peace out everyone for a while as the M NHL of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports dial. Dial, I meant. Don't get me wrong, I got slanged off a second here. Shana Beast is out. Thanks for joining us. See you if later. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.